So good morning and welcome back over here to Bush Gardens Tampa Bay as you know one of our favorite places to come out and visit So I had to come on out today because last time we came out I didn't have the GoPro well I had the GoPro but I forgot the SD card did today the SD card is in it and I have it fully charged and I have a restaurant so today we will be taking it on rides also came on over a little more iron quasi stuff as you know if you follow the Tuesday theme park talk over Sunday they did put in the last piece of track and randomly Monday they started testing so came on over maybe see if we can catch them doing any some sort of testing on it but also we do want to stop and see if we see that work being done on that new thrill ride that they are building over by where old Rhino Rally used to be so today's gonna be kind of a fun day it doesn't look as busy as I thought I thought it was gonna be a lot busier to be honest but I think you're getting a lot more school groups coming in so maybe that's what the big issue will be today oh there's the iron quasi with a full track completed maybe see some testing today they did do a random test the other other day essentially for social media purposes but I'm kind of hoping maybe we may see some testing going on today but officially the track is completed so now all I have to do now is start doing their testing everything else and also at the very front I didn't show this yet because I'll show at the end of the video they have iron Guazi merchandise out I cannot freaking wait for this thing thing looks freaking insane so yeah definitely so they do have the lockers again like they always do at every ride so you enter down there and then the lockers are like right underneath the station area and then you'll go up here but I don't see a train I don't see the new train in the station I don't see one out here right now so I don't know if they're just finishing cleaning up from all the construction because you still have a couple cranes out here but all the big cranes are kind of going away you get these little cranes so I wonder if they're just cleaning up as they go but I like, do like, as you kind of come through here, they started converting the uh, Guazi Park back to its former glory. I still love this sign. Um, but it's, like I said, you got, like, they're starting to kind of go back and putting everything back together. And then you also have a little shop they've, they've rolled out now, so. Watering Hill's still not open quite back up again, but I think it will once Guazi reopens. Well, Iron Guazi opens. Essentially be re Guazi reopening, but Iron, but as Iron Guazi instead. But I can tell you right now, this is going to be a really cool view because you'll get the lift hill and you'll get the train going over the station right there. Three inversions on this bad boy. It's not a lot of like, it's not a lot of like how you do on like Montu where you go upside down like you flip. It's a lot more twisting because that's what you get up on that section right up there. Get the little twist right there. And then this does also have a what's called a zero G stall where it flips you upside down, holds you for a second and then reflip you back over. But man. This has got to be close to getting an opening date at some point. I know a lot of y'all are probably tired of seeing the Iron Guazi constant updates, so I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are ready for it to be open. I'm ready just to be open so I can ride it a few times because I think it's going to be insane. I am so excited just because I always tell people, I said, I, was, I got to ride the very first RMC hybrid conversion out at Six Flags Over Texas with Texas Giant going from the old Texas Giant to what they call the new Texas Giant. And man, that thing is insane. I waited on opening day for that for three hours to ride it. On opening day, I waited three hours for the new Texas Giant. So that's why I'm like super excited about Guazi. Just because it's, I mean, it's the newest hybrid coaster and it's also made by Rocky Mountain Construction Company, so. Oh, God. That drop though. Yeah, Ali's pretty convinced she will not do this ride. Uh -oh. Yeah, uh -oh. The more and more it started getting built up, the more and more I realized this is way more intense than most anything else in this in this park is. It's the tallest coaster ro coaster in the park. Um, definitely, probably fastest as well. So, man, cannot wait to ride this thing. All right, just kind of going right past Sesame Street area, heading up to Stanleyville because. We are gonna go ride Tigress. We have always kind of said we will always wait for Tigress. Doesn't matter if it, unless it's like a 45 plus minute wait, then we may consider not doing it right away. But I don't think it's gonna be that long today because it's not very busy. Yeah, it's also I think the week before major spring break holidays are out. So, um, but yeah, so we're just kind of we're just kind of keeping a close eye to see if um, we see any movement over at Guazi possibly for testing or anything. But. We'll see if we do see anything, but I don't think they're testing today. Um, I think the test they did on Monday was purely for social media purposes. 
Oh, right now, kind of walking towards the back area. Something I noticed as well, I was telling Allie, it looks like they changed up their signs a little bit. These are a little bit bigger signs, a little more colorful. Smokehouse, Yeah, we, we, I still have never eaten at the smokehouse here, but you know what? It's a great area though. I am, ex I love, love, love Tigris. Pretty much we're getting a, a similar ride like this in um, SeaWorld in Icebreaker, made by the same company, same style, just not the Skyrocket model version, a custom track layout. So, put you guys away, and for this time, take y'all on us. Gotta grab the GoPro though. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. walk on no one waiting for the front row and also they're doing something a little different so after every ride they're wiping down a couple of the seats um like i guess with some sort of disinfectant something um but they are still doing the thing where you cannot bring any loose articles to the loading dock so you have to leave everything in a locker so like their little cubbies they used to have are still covered and i don't know if that there's a reason behind that um but that's just something we noticed last time we came that they, you have to leave your stuff in a cubby, or you have to leave your stuff in a locker. You can't leave it in a cubby anymore. Um, I honestly think though, putting it in a locker is safer than putting it in one of those little cubbies anyways. So we did come up here and do Sheikra. However, the reason you did not see any GoPro footage is because when, um, so Ali was on my right side, I was on the left side, um, just to let everyone sit. Um, as I went to reach up with my right hand for the restraint, which is weird, because normally I use my left hand for it when I have the GoPro. Um, I reached up and at the same time Allie reached up and was pulling down hers. Accidentally hit the GoPro and actually I uh, broke off the wrist mount. But this one's fine because I know how to fix it right away. It's just on Sheikra, don't have any footage of us riding it, which is fine. We've done it numerous times. Um, but I'm just, it, was, it was a minor issue. Like it's nothing that I need to like go to like go ride about and look at something new about, but it was just a, it was an accident. So I don't know what we're gonna do now. I'm just waiting for Allie. I don't know what she's doing over there. And just like last time, we're going to do the Sky Ride again because we want to see if any of that works going on for that new Thor Ride. There was a rumor is possibly be happening. Still nothing from Bush Gardens. I think what's going to happen is about the same time they open Gwazi, they will announce whatever they're building over here, which sounds like it's a giant pendulum swing ride. But it's still a cool ride to do. We'll go over and see if we can like do like Cheetah Hunt, maybe do like Cobra's Curse, and then i got to work my way back over to Falcons to do that. Whee! Up we go. Oh, there's a the tiger enclosure area. You got the tiger viewing section. Oh, then, this is where like, the Halloween stuff is. Oh yeah, that's like the scare zone down there. This is where they also have that huge tunnel for the lights. Can't wait. But also, I tell you what, Gwazi's gonna add something else to the skyline because now you've got Shikra, you got Tigris, you got Gwazi, Falcon's Fury, Montu in the background, and all the way back here, kind of hidden in the back, Kumba. A lot of people don't know Kumba's like, it's really far away. It's much farther away than a lot of people realize. Like Kumba's all the way in the back of the park. Mm -hmm. And back up we go. Now that we made the turn around. So you can see over there on the right, Gwazi with its fully completed track. So there's little cranes. Yeah, it's little cranes still here there, but I wonder if it's like, like said, purely cleaning up what they have. Just double checking, inspecting everything. Cause they may have to inspect like all the, all the footings, all the woodwork. Make sure everything is good and clean. Even though they did already do a test run, they're probably still having to do their inspections. I'm convinced the test run was purely a media stunt. Purely get people excited for it. Showing it running the track. And I guarantee we won't see it testing for a while though. But we thought we'd come on over here and maybe see if they're running it at all. But it doesn't look like they are running it today. Because um, there was no train in the station. So they maybe, like I said, doing the last little bit of inspection work. But I'll tell you what's doing a lot of work is this area right here. Like, there's a lot of work happening down here. Like they've got a whole section like set up right here. Wow. 
not sure exactly what I, I do think it's gonna be that new pendulum attraction thing where I mean this is gonna be so close to the sky ride yeah it's gonna be really close to the sky ride right here <laughs> but it'll be kind of cool it looks like they're gonna try to use what they already have here as a loading area and use what's already in place kind of similar to how uh, they built Blasi. They used all, pretty much all the same footers and everything and just built off top of it. Get into Alley with their little Tigris phone case. I just like that we still don't know, how, we don't have a full track layout yet either, so. Even though it's done, they never really announced a full track layout, but we all kind of have an idea what it's going to look like. You know, the old, the old Blasi was like, oh my god, it was too rickety. Your back and neck would start hurting after. I'll bet. But now you've got this, where it's going to be, this thing is going to be smooth and fast. Probably won't hurt your back as much. You'll just be in shock about how fast it goes because this thing will fly around that track. One of the benefits is coming from, if you go from Stanleyville here to Cheetah Hunt Plaza, you can see the Cheetah Hunt line. Oh, it's a long line today. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it today. Yeah, they're only loading one station right now, so yeah. But I will tell you, Pro tip, go to Stanleyville first, you can do Tigris, Shikra, and then you can ride the Sky Ride over. And not have to wait any line at all, because that's the thing that when you come from this side, people like to ride from here over to the other side. Um, I'll tell you what, two years back, they used to have cheetahs right here. Two years back. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore, not though. Not because of this? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so Cheetah Hunt was, po was posting a 55 minute wait. Cobra's Curse is posting a 25 minute wait. Yikes. This side of the park is much busier than the other side because Tigris, no line. Shikra, little line, but it was really because we wanted to ride in the front row. So, yeah, a little busier today than I thought it would be. Well, now I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while. This one, Allie will definitely not do. That's why I think that's why we're convinced Iron Gwazi is definitely not going to be her. But I'm actually going to go ahead and jump onto Montu and do Montu for the first time in a decent amount of time, actually. Hopefully they're running more than one train. Also hope it's not super busy. I would love to do Montu. Oh, uh, looks like there's a bunch of school groups right now. Not sure. Yeah, Montu took a little longer than I anticipated. One, it just seemed there was a lot of people in line, but also every time they came in, what they were doing, and I've noticed that every attraction, is that one row is getting like disinfected and wiped down every time it comes in, because like on Sheikra they would do that. Um, there's only three rows, so it takes a little bit, it's a little bit quicker for them there. Um, but like, that, that's what took a little longer for Montu. Plus they're only wanting, running one train right now, and I think it's purely because they're just getting them into the use of wiping down a row every time it comes in, so 
I mean, I'll tell you what though, trying to hold your arm out of that attraction is so hard after a while because you get about halfway through and you still have like three more inversions and you're like, oh, my arm hurts. Because I can tell you right now, my shoulder hurts a little bit. Well, Cheetah Hunt is still posting the longest wait in the line in the park with 45 minute waits. So, but we are gonna go check out over by where the train station area is and also go uh, over by Pantopia. Cause I still wanna do Falcon's Fury and I think we'll maybe try to do Sand Serpent or Scorpion, one of the two. I do love like how long Cheetah Hunt is, like in perspective, like it's not like one of those like normal rides where it's kind of like in a round area. It's like you go all the way out and you come all the way back. Also, it gives you some pretty good views, especially if you're on the sky ride. Like we got stuck on the sky ride for a few minutes earlier and we were literally right underneath the, that big spot right there. So, but I always love making the joke with Cheetah Hunt, it's just a high speed safari ride. Cause you do, you do go right by a few of the, the um, animals in the safari area out here that used to have the Rhino Rally. <laughs> yeah, Ali also sees the penguins. I see the train right here. It's a yellow one today. Now we're gonna kind of walk up into the animal connection area, see if we can see any of the fun animals. This is where they usually have the flamingo, like some of their flamingos. They have a lot of flamingos in this park. But here's some of their flamingos. This is also where you see a bunch of their sloths they have and a bunch of their uh, birds as well. It's one where we see the one that usually will yell at you. You know, we already found one of those as we went to Stanleyville. There's like the bird, bird area. There's a parrot in there and he yelled at Allie. Some of the flamingos standing on their one leg. Some of them are kind of bathing themselves. Look how these guys are really pink. These guys are kind of faded. It looks like they're getting some more of their darker pink coming in to look more like these guys. Ooh, they got two green parrots over here today. I like. You got some crazy hair, don't you, buddy? Don't you? Yeah? Some grooming. This one just kind of just fluffed up. It's like, uh. He looks like he just woke up. Did you just woke up? Did you just wake up? Yeah? Are you telling him to stop that? Looks like what you're doing. You look like you're kicking him. Jeez. Hey, this thing, you're gonna use some. This thing has a lot of those weird lateral, like hills where you're gonna be kind of sideways and it's gonna kind of like hit you push you up into the air so kind of wish they were testing today but like I said I think their their test that they did was purely for the for media reasons just to get people excited for it because outside of that I don't see a train on today it doesn't look like very many people are out here today looking at it so oh yeah now like I said there's people right there on the lift hill I guess they're just they're doing their inspections I think that's what they're doing now is inspecting the ride now that the tracks complete even though they did already did one test run, I think they were just doing it purely for media reasons. Yeah, you kind of see just, it's a really good spot. You can really watch uh, Shikra, not Shikra, Cheetah Hunt go by. We were just talking about Shikra because we saw it. There's the, uh, zero, as they call it, the zero G roll or a heartline roll. No, that's what they call this one, it's a heartline roll because it keeps you right in the center. It's completely circular as you go around it. Then all this little area right here, which looks like they are starting to do a lot of work clearing it out. Definitely do think it's whatever that new ride that was rumored to be coming, like a giant pendulum swing ride. Um, I've actually, like we, so here's the thing is that there's actually a few of these around at the fun spots here, but this one would be a lot bigger and a lot more um, heavily themed in the way that, the way that Bush Gardens goes. They really do theme up a lot of their rides very well. All right, up into Pantopia. Try to do a couple things over here and then uh, I'm not sure from there. It is getting like about 12.30, so it is getting kind of, not late, it's just we're getting to like the noon, like the middle of the day where it's a lot warmer now, so not quite sure what we'll do after we do some of the stuff over here. Because we did get Tigris in, which is one thing Ali always has to do. We did Shikra, can take you on, I accidentally broke the mountain, the GoPro off the mountain and fixed it. Whenever it did Montu. So, kind of got a decent amount done so far. <laughs> Jeez. 
It's not. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, this. Oh. Oh. God. Oh, my. That was. Good Lord. Yeah, it's still not near as bad as I, the first time I ever rode it, but I, I can tell you right now, I'm shaking so bad. Oh my god. I will say that we did come over here and we haven't seen Scorpion since it came back up from its refurbishment. It's painted! It looks real nice. Allie stopped here because she really wants to get something to eat really quick. She wants some chicken, so she wants to like come in here to the dragon grill area. Mm, yeah, they definitely did a... Uh, Repaint it. It looks really good, actually. You can see it's already uh, on the tra the rails itself. The rails have already like worn down a lot of the stuff, but it looks real good. It's one of the oldest rides in this park. One, it's the oldest coaster for sure, but it's definitely a unique ride. So instead of getting something at Dragonfire Grill, we actually stopped off over here at uh, Twisted Tails Pretzels, and we actually got oh my god, that thing's steaming. Now we got a. Um, Cuban stuffed pretzel with some beer cheese. And I got a pretzel dog with some beer cheese and they both come with chips. So, we got a little snack. So Allie really likes her Cuban like pretzel sandwich. I don't like my pretzel dog just cause, oh, just cause it's really good. Only downside is, keeps falling out, so. Chips are really good. The beer cheese, the chips are really good actually. Well now that we are nice and full, I think we're just gonna start working our way back towards the front, but we're gonna head back this way, because earlier, as I'd say, we always like to take the sky ride from Stanleyville, which is past Pantopia and past where Kumba is. We have to go, we have to take that over and then see what Cheetah Hunt looks like, wait time-wise and possibly Cobra's Curse, and then try to walk back this way, because then you can hit some of those other rides again and see what those are like. Plus, also, we just, I wanna get back to the front to show you all the, all the new um, Iron Gwazi merchandise that they have out, finally. Forgetting that this is this area is called Jungala. This used to be the area where like down this used to be the area that used to have the um the coaster python, I think it was. I got a thally because she's ridden it before. I can't remember what exactly it was called. But if you wanted to look for Kumba here in this area, either before the bumper carts, which are right past these little like little boats and monster truck ride the game things, it's there's a walkway that way. Or if you're up by Tiger's Treasure, go up that way. It takes you up by the Congo River Rapids and uh, takes you up to Kumba. Um, so Ali's just kind of walking around. Ali just wants to see someone like driving the little uh, little uh, monster trucks. So yeah, so this was down here where Python was. Python was the uh, was a arrow corkscrew. Yeah, it was the old corkscrew arrow corkscrew coaster model that in like the early 70s and 80s was super popular. But now there's all areas, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. You said the six for the 60 years thing. I could probably past 60 years celebration stuff. But she said it was right down here where the treetop tails area is. Gone now. Yeah. So it's called Treetop Trails. It's pretty fun. <laughs> but yep, just kind of, like I said, doing the complete opposite walk path that we did when we first came in. Because lately, our first walkway, it used to be how we used to do bush gardens all the time. We go over to Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, and Montu area first, then work our way over here. Because at the time, it was only she only only big ride over here was Shikra and Kumba. But now, you've got the brand new brand new Tigris. I still call it new. It's still a year. It's not even a full year old yet. Oh, baby. Yep. In terms of coaster lifespan, especially at this park, it's still uh, still young. Um, but and and then and then um, now we're over here. We can like I said, this used to be, we just used like what we've been doing lately is how we do the opposite. So I don't know. It's just it's kind of funny because like we we usually now have started doing the thing where we don't have plans in the evening. <laughs> I mean, like, do this. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? 
No you won't. And then kind of walking back up because you have the excursions, Bush Gardens conservation store, which that's where a lot of the Guy Harvey stuff will be. Guy Harvey, he's a big like, he's a painter and a activist and stuff like that. A lot of his paintings will be here. Um, and it's usually a lot more quiet area because then you can go right in here to Gwazi Park, which I wonder if this all this all is gonna have to change. Like all these signage and things are gonna have to all change. They're gonna keep all these names because that's the old Gwazi sign. Because now you have the new Gwazi sign. Oh, Hollow screen. Oh yeah. November, November to January, the Hopefully we. And of course, then last year it was Tigris opening spring, spring of 2019, or was it summer of 2019 they opened it? Spring. Spring. Yeah. Some little games, and then the tiny little like Gwazi flyers, a little spinny ride, kind of similar like Dumbo. Tell you what though, when you walk up into this area, I think it's gonna look insane. Cause you're gonna walk up right here and the way the sign is facing, it's for you like to walk up this way to it. You're gonna get a cool view when it comes off of this big turn right here over the station. I think it's gonna carry so much speed. Yep, so here's some of their Iron Gwazi merchandise. They actually have pass member stuff, but they have a purple one. Pretty sure it says pass member on it, but um, it, I don't like it as much as like the regular shirt. So I like to have Iron Gwazi hat, Iron Gwazi coffee cup, $13 for that. Shirt itself is $26. Yeah. I think I'm I think I think I'm gonna get the because they like I said they do have a purple one. It's a purple iron gwazi for past members, but it's purple and it doesn't show the actual like logo. So I think I will probably get the black shirt to start with and then decide if I want the hat. But yeah, so yeah, look at that thing though. The only downside, it is black, but oh well. It's the actual logo of it. <laughs> Feel the softness. So I think, like I said, I'll probably end up doing this this shirt first, and then I will decide if I want the hat or not to go with it. All right, I got my Iron Gwazi shirt. Got the actual logo one. I didn't want the pass member one. But I'm thinking about that white pass member hat though. Cause I like the white hat, but I'll decide when next time we come. But I will not wear this until I go to ride Iron Gwazi for the first time. Cause Allie will not ride this with me though, so kind of the downside, it's too intense for her. Alrighty, so we are gonna go ahead and call it a day from Bush Gardens. Really nice day out. Um not a little warmer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit cooler. I was kinda hoping it'd be a lot cooler. But you know, overall, just a really fun day. We came out, saw Iron Gwazi. Now that the official track is a complete. No testing though today. I think the uh the video that was posted was purely a media stunt to just get the hype up, which they did because people are freaking out about it. But I just think they won't test it while the park's open because people are going to go over and try to ride it when they have no one out front, even though they do have the walls. So I think it's a lot of testing will be done while the park's closed, like early mornings, late afternoon, late evenings. Um, but I truly see this thing opening pretty soon. I give about three weeks and I think it'll be open. But I am hoping they do some of the t the. Uh, Past member previews, or like the like how they did for Tigris, where they opened it for soft openings, but then they gave previews. They gave the quick queue for past members, so and then rode a few rides, and then I stopped and got my Iron Gwazi T-shirt that I will wear on the first time we ride it. So or first time I ride it. So, but I mean overall, just a really fun day. So with all that being said, we do head up from a very fun day here at Bush Gardens. We will see y'all next time. <laughs>